So it's Monday morning. Um, I think we'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, I'm going to show you guys all of the different movements and basically tell you what the sequence is. Um, because it's all body weight and I'm really partial to body weight because you can go at your own pace and you can kind of cheat. Not that I condone cheating, but it can make certain things a little bit more accessible if it's a little bit too difficult for, you know, where you are at right now. Um, so I will show you guys everything and give you the reps and the time um, and give you some pointers for each thing. Um, like any good workout, we're going to start in plank first. So you want to keep in mind, you want your belly to your spine keep everything really hollow. And what this sequence is, is you're gonna go elbow, elbow, hand, hand. So you're gonna go elbow, elbow, hand, hand. And you wanna be as about, as solid as possible. You don't wanna be like elbow, elbow, hand, hand. You wanna stay tight and really stationary. So elbow, elbow, hand. Hand. So you will do five, leading with your right, and then five, leading with your left. And then, if that's a little bit too intense, you can take, you know, a break, just kind of stretching out your abs, because this is going to be a pretty good core workout today. Um, then you want to go ahead and do, gymnasts call them tuck-ups. Um, I think yogis prefer to call it boat pose. So you want to do 10 tuck ups or boat to half boat. So this is going to be your tuck up and then go straight and keep in mind you want to keep this pretty much as hollow as possible. You don't want to stick out your abs because then you're working the wrong part of your body. You go up and down. And up. And you'll do that for 10 reps. Depending on how you feel after that, you can go right into the V-ups or you can take a little bit of a break and, you know, try to stretch out those obliques, get rid of some of the fire that's building up in your abs. After that, V-ups. We'll only do these for five instead of the 10. Then after that, we're going to go right into a hollow body hold. So the key to hollow body is to try not to stick out your abs. But I think what's also really important is to just kind of push yourself. So if you can hold this and just stay there, that's great. If you want to kind of cheat a little bit, just because it makes it a little bit easier, but it keeps you going, you can do hollow body rocks. Either way, you want to do it for about 30 seconds. After that, you want to make sure to give yourself a break. Lay on your back. Let your knees waft back and forth for a bit, which will actually warm you up for the next thing that we're going to do. Once you're ready, go ahead and lay on your back with your feet straight up. And we're going to lower to the left while keeping your back on the ground. And then lower to the right and bring it back up. And you want to do that five on each side, giving you 10 total. Once you've done 10, you can go ahead and rest on one side. And then you'll repeat. And just be sure you rest on the other side after that. So next, we're going to go ahead and do, I don't know, elbows to knees. I feel like it's a pretty classic 
uh, ab oblique workout. So you want to go ahead, keep both feet off the floor, one knee is bent, hands behind your head, but you're not supporting your head with your hands. You want to go ahead and go right elbow to left knee, switch legs, left elbow to right knee, switch legs, and continue on alternating. And I feel like people, they want to go fast, you know, because the faster you go, the faster it's over, right? So they just want to, but you get a lot more if you actually take your time with the movements. So, you know, take your time and go ahead and repeat the reps. for uh, 10 on each side. So this last one is to kind of engage a, a bigger range of your abs. And like I said, it is the last one. So go ahead and feel free to push yourself. Return to your back if you got up because I got up. <laughs> and uh, spread your legs in a V position. You know, depending on where you are flexibility wise, it really doesn't matter. All you need is enough room for your arms and possibly part of your torso to get through. So you're laying on your back and you engage your abs to sit up and put your arms through your legs. Like this. Try not to completely disengage in between each one. A good way to avoid that is to not release your head onto the ground and repeat this for 20 reps. Okay, so that's the whole workout. You can repeat it. It should take you about 10 minutes, 10, 15. I thought that would be a really good way to start your Monday. Um, for me, it's personally hard to commit to working out on Monday mornings. Uh, so maybe this will help you get up and just get a quick workout in. And it's really good for your core. So. Let me give you guys uh, some stretches to get rid of all of that tension that you've built up. It probably doesn't feel like it, but you used your shoulders and your arms a bit. Um, for some people, you know, doing this across is good enough. For others, it takes, it takes a little bit more. So if you want to get your knee and your hand, you can pull your elbow down. And that, for me, really gets this spot. Um, but don't, don't do it per past what you're comfortable. Then you also can release your abs by going into a cobra. Is that what this is called? I'm sorry, not a yogi, guys. Uh, <laughs> but make sure you keep your lower back engaged. And that will give your abs the opportunity to release. Okay. I'll be giving you guys another Monday workout next week. It will be a little bit longer, maybe a little bit more hardcore. So let's, let's get ready.